An interesting incident happened in the Pokrovsk region. The Russian command sent soldiers previously exchanged from captivity to attack in an open field in the Pokrovsk Axis. Fighters of the 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade destroyed the stormtroopers, which, as it turned out, the brigade captured in 2023 near Avdiivka. This was reported by Ukrainian journalist Yuri Butusov. His report is also cited by the press service of the 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade. So, the incident happened in the Pokrovsk Axis, where Russian stormtroopers launched a full-length open-terrain attack on a Ukrainian stronghold. Soldiers of the 110th Mechanized Brigade destroyed all the stormtroopers as if in a shooting range. When they collected the documents of the killed, our scouts were surprised because these Russians were already prisoners exactly of the 110th Mechanized Brigade and went to Russia for exchange. The message says, Butusov noted that the Russian command sent its soldiers exchanged from captivity into a suicide attack to punish them for surrendering. It is indicated that Mikhail Vladimirovich Surikov, born in 1974 from Tatarstan, was captured by soldiers of the 110th Brigade near Avdiivka on November 18, 2023, and Alexander Nikolaevich Tumin, born in 1976 from Noginsk, Moscow Oblast, was also captured near Avdiivka on October 16, 2023. Judging by the personal papers of Surikov and Tumin, most likely the whole group consisted of fighters exchanged from captivity. The other liquidated ones had no personal documents and papers. Butusov noted, It follows from personal papers that Surikov and Tumin served in the 114th Motorized Rifle Brigade of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation. After being captured, they spent about eight months in a Ukrainian colony, then returned to Russia, where they spent several months in a filtration camp. It is noted that after that, they were sent back to the 114th Brigade for service, where they were immediately sent to the assault squad as penalized soldiers. The entire detachment of former prisoners was sent to attack on a completely open field and none of the Russians returned from this attack. Obviously, the Russian command does not trust its soldiers, who have raised their hands and sends them to attack so that they are guaranteed not to return. There is no one to stand up for them in the Russian Federation. Putin is leading to the last Russian, the journalist summarized. Israel's military released footage on Tuesday said to show Hezbollah fighters firing at Israeli troops in Lebanon. Another video showed an explosion said to be targeting Hezbollah fighters who had barricaded themselves in the building that was destroyed. Troops could be seen operating in a village and apparently confiscating Hezbollah weapons. The latest videos come as Hezbollah launched a barrage of rockets into central Israel on Tuesday, setting off air raid sirens in the country's most populated areas, but causing no apparent damage or injuries. The Israeli military said projectiles were fired from Lebanon into Israel and said most were intercepted by Israel's missile defense system. One landed in an open area. The Israeli military said that at the same time about 15 projectiles were fired from Lebanon into northern Israel. The rocket fire came as Israel stepped up its strikes in Lebanon, targeting a Hezbollah-run financial institution, and as Israeli troops push ahead in their invasion of southern Lebanon.
damage was caused to homes in a Palestinian village in the Israeli-occupied West Bank on Tuesday after what appeared to be a rocket launched from Lebanon landed nearby. Of course it was in the morning and most people were asleep or preparing students for school, said Shukba resident Sami the Bet. The Israeli military said one projectile was fired from Lebanon and fell in an open area early Tuesday following an air raid siren in Modian Ilit settlement in the West Bank. This comes as Israel stepped up its strikes in Lebanon, targeting a Hezbollah-run financial institution, and as Israeli troops pushed ahead in their invasion of southern Lebanon. The military said it aims to push Hezbollah out of southern Lebanon so that tens of thousands of Israelis can return to their homes nearby after more than a year of cross-border rocket and drone attacks. Hezbollah has been launching rockets into Israel nearly every day since Hamas' deadly raid into Israel last year that sparked the war in Gaza.